Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing a tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. So I'm going to be looking at the romantic energies that are coming to you. What are the upcoming changes, the unexpected, your person's challenge? What are their feelings and thoughts? I'm also going to be getting a few oracle cards. So let's begin with a few oracle cards, right? What are the romantic energies flowing towards Taurus? Okay, so this is a card which talks about you bringing forward your soul wisdom. I feel like during this period of time, it may be necessary for you to awaken your soul memories, as well as your higher spiritual understanding of this connection. Now, what I also see from this particular card is mention of the fact that there's going to be some sort of an accelerated ascension, right? Some of you could be in a relationship with an individual and it's a really powerful connection. And acceleration can mean, you know, things are speeding up, speeding up in a very powerful sort of way. But in order for it to be activated, you may need to activate your soul memories as well as your spiritual understanding of this individual. Taurus individuals are known for having a lot of soul wisdom when it comes to love and relationships. And I feel like this is a very powerful energy that is pointing you in that direction, right? A very beautiful card. Let's get another message. A message for Taurus and their love life. So we have the energy of observer, right? This could be indicating that someone is observing you, watching you very carefully. This could be indicating that there's a need for you to take a closer look at something that is occurring in your love life during this period of time. Now, this is a fox that has a telescope towards the moon. And what we have is a lunar moon. So that means that there's certain emotions associated with that. I feel like in context of the situation, there's a need to take a closer look at your emotions. There's something that's important there for you, right? Let's get another card. Okay, this card just fell out. Gates of Triumph. Success expands in your life. So if you haven't already watched the video, the March 2021 tarot card reading, which was a bonus for the zodiac sign of Taurus, make sure to check it out. You can find it on the homepage of this tarot channel. There is a lot of mention of success, but I feel like the gates of triumph are also resonating with the energy of love that is occurring in your life during this period of time. Now, before I start looking at the energy of the person you're dealing with, I'm going to pull one more card. And this is focused on your own individual healing, which you could pay attention to during this period of time. Some of you are going through difficulties in your life. And if you're looking where to focus your attention to heal your soul, this is going to be the card that provides you with that energy. So we have a card called Commitment. 
So angel wisdom reminds you that when you aim for a vision without doubt or deviation, it must succeed. Your guidance is to persevere towards your vision. Let every thought, word and action be directed towards your desired outcome. Nothing is more powerful than focused energy and the angels will see the pure light of your commitment, whether it is in a relationship, a piece of work, a journey or anything else in your life. Remember to ask them for help and know that when you dedicate your intention to the highest good, they will support you. So this is a very positive and powerful message that you may need during this particular period of time. Commitment could also be indicating the potential of commitment between you and this individual concerned. So let's begin your tarot card reading. What are the romantic energies coming towards Taurus during this particular period of time? We have the energy of stress, right? But this is an energy that is talking about being overwhelmed, being under pressure. And being under pressure is not a bad thing. If you really think about it, diamonds are formed under pressure. You can't make them without that sort of, you know, um, energy that is pushing down against it. So I feel like what you are nurturing here with regard to this individual is something very positive because we had these particular cards to indicate that. You know, if these had been a different type of oracle cards that came out, it might have been something to give you stress. But I don't feel like this stress is a negative stress. I feel like it's a stress that gives you the compulsion to move forward in a positive way, right? So I feel like you're going to come under pressure, perhaps from the individual that you are dealing with. What are the upcoming changes for Taurus? Okay, so this is an energy which is indicating, you know, something in which you want to keep up. It feels as if Spirit is telling you that something is going to happen in your love life and you're going to have to keep up. For a while, it may feel as if, you know, there's a struggle to keep up. It may feel as if, you know, you're moving in one direction and another direction and you don't really know which is the right direction. So I feel like whatever is going to happen or unfold in your life is something that might either take you for surprise because I feel like you're going to be under pressure. I also feel like there's an energy of do you go in this direction? Do you go in that direction? What is the sort of uh, right path for you to go in? The unexpected elements for Taurus in love. Okay. Someone is watching you. Someone is highly observant of you. Someone is paying attention to your every move. It feels as if you're dealing with a person that is getting ready to pounce and not in a negative way. It feels like the type of energy where someone is very motivated by what they observe in you. And they're very much, um, yeah, as, we're, as I mentioned that, this, this is a card of someone observing, you know, observer. And this is an energy of a person that is looking at another individual, almost like spying and watching another person. So that is the unexpected. You are being spied on by this individual during this particular period of time. So what is your person's challenge? Okay, so if things have ended between both you and this individual concerned, there might be a difficulty in accepting that. I feel like something came to an end. It might have been rather abruptly. It might have been something that they didn't really anticipate. It feels like the energy of this person feeling very challenged uh, by the sort of ending that occurred between the two of you. There might have been a break in communication, some sort of energy that uh, made you go in one direction, made them go in another direction, and that could have been very difficult to deal with in the context of the situation. 
I don't feel like this person accepted it. What is your person's feelings towards you? Ace of Cups, so they want to come in, they want to have a fresh start, they want to offer something to you. This is a very interesting sort of energy because, you know, it depicts the Pantheon. And I feel like this is a card which is relating to an element of wanting to talk about certain things. The Pantheon is, you know, a very famous place in the world. And it is a card that relates to, you know, coming together, coming and putting things together. It feels like that's sort of a, a piece of the puzzle. It feels like those types of energy. It's not just about love. It's about having everything fit together. That's a very key thing that I'm picking up with that particular energy. What are their thoughts right now for you? Okay, this is Six of Wands and, you know, this is an energy which is indicating that they see you as the vision of success. Success, you know, expands in your life. So it feels as if this card is not just relating to your financial success. It's also relating to the success of within this relationship. There's something about this individual attributing some sort of, um, you know, successful connotation to what this relationship between you and themselves would mean. Let's elaborate on that. Why is this uh, person, why is Taurus this person thinking of Taurus in light of success? There's something about dreams, right? There's something about attraction. There's something about you fulfilling the dreams that they have been looking towards or looking forward to. It feels like that sort of energy. I feel like you encompass everything that this individual has been looking for. It also feels as if there's a desire for, you know, a new beginning, not just on one end, but also on another end. It feels like the desire to start over and to do things in a better way between the two of you, right? We have the Ace of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups, and both these cards are giving me an indication of an individual that wants to do a do-over. So what sort of do-over does this person want to actually see happen between the two of you? Oh, we have a card that has fallen out. Okay, there might be an iciness to your connection during this time. They want to step up to the plate to uh, break the ice. There's also this energy of a sacrifice, right? What is this talking about? Perhaps they want to sacrifice their ego. Yes, they, they might see themselves as uh, the one that was uh, causing the frustration in this connection and delaying the inevitable. Some of you could be dealing with a person that feels very frustrated, you know, about their own life as a whole. There could be frustrations that are coming from uh, things that don't quite satisfy them. There might be a need for them to escape in order to, you know, um, have a perfect relationship with you. It feels as if this person might feel trapped for some of you, not for all of you. But there's certain things that have left this individual feeling a little bit trapped, feeling a little bit, um, you know, cornered. I feel like this person is playing out a fantasy inside of their head where they have a new beginning with you, a fresh start. It almost feels as if, you know, they see you as their six of wands. They want to come in. They want to sweep you off your feet. It feels like that type of energy. 
So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies in the extended. I'm going to be looking more closely at this individual. What do they actually want to do? What is going to happen in this situation? How should you react, you know, based on how this individual is feeling? Because I feel like there's going to be an energy of which you're going to feel uneasy. You're not going to really know how to react. It might leave you at, you know, on edge. But I feel like this person has a lot of enthusiasm when it comes to this connection. So I hope you guys have enjoyed your tarot card reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Make sure to watch your March 2021 bonus tarot card reading, which is focused exclusively on, you know, the guidance as well as the energies that you need to be aware of that are external to love, right? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day and take care.